now we come to the third way of expressing it and that is that is mass by volume mass by volume pharmaceuticals also use this okay mass by volume mass upon volume <coughs> w by v they they call it huh should be w by v oh yes yes this is w upon v fine so you'll also see it written you'll also see it written on the on the oh, medicine flaps okay this is the mass of the component dissolved in hundred ml of solution per hundred ml of solution fine hundred ml of the solution so so till now whatever we have done that always involves the solution fine okay now now you must have heard a thing called a thing called ppm right ppm ppm is is used when there is very very small amount of certain things parts per million that is ppm when when very small amount of certain things are present okay when when trace quantities we call it trace quantities what do you mean by trace there is there, there is a uh, traces uh, just the traces are found that means it's present that's what you know but it is very very small when trace quantities of of something is present then we express its composition as parts per million ppm okay parts per million ppm now it is it is the so ppm is equal to the number of parts of the component of the component upon the total number of parts of all the components of the solution okay so total number of parts all the components of the solution into <coughs> into 10 to the power 6 into 10 to the power 6 per million so what have i done i have converted this into million is it not how many millions whatever is the total number of parts if i divide that by 10 to the power 6 i'll get it in millions okay in so this is in millions so that's why this divided by 10 to the power 6 so that 10 to the power 6 went up you understand that okay so so it is uh, maybe uh, while manufacturing the ics the level of the dust particles inside the room has to be less than 5 ppm you understand otherwise it will adversely start affecting the functioning of of the chip we understand that so so that's what ppm is 
so when you say 5 ppm it means the there are if if you if you sample a million parts so a million oxygen atoms maybe and a million nitrogen plus oxygen then you'll find only five particles which are dust okay so that is the kind of thing it represents and that is a very 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 small quantity How right No, there, there. Say, uh, when we talk about dust particles, we are not, we do not start counting the atoms in in the dust particle, right? That is not possible. But what we mean to say is that it has, it, it you'll find five dust particles in that. So if you how much is one part? One part is that's what the way you are talking. That's how it changes, right? Maybe, maybe at times you might be talking about atoms, but when you talk about dust, you talk, you talk like that um, particles, right? But otherwise, you will be talking in terms of atoms. What will, whatever you are talking here, you will be talking here. Like mass, volume, anything? No, no, no. The, the uh, number. Hmm. Normally, normally it is used in numbers. Okay, normally. <coughs> mass to mass, volume to volume, mass to volume. So, you can, fine. But, but normally, normally uh, you will find it is numbers, fine, so, so can be, can be mass upon mass or mass by volume or, or volume by volume, fine. So you can say arsenic, arsenic is the f even say 20 ppm of, of arsenic in water, then there you might be talking about mass, fine. That becomes a poison, fine. That st starts adversely affecting the health of people. Say, say uh, there is fluoride, there is some percentage of fluoride which is very good for your teeth, but beyond that the fluoride becomes poison. So, so people, people uh, get start, uh, get affecting um, adversely by fluoride poisoning. Okay. So, so uh, normally uh, when we are talking about the portable water or air, then you talk about these things, fine. So, hmm, the quality of water, quality of air uh, or uh, normally there, fine. <coughs> so that's what ppm is fine yeah they have also written perhaps hmm? a liter of sea water contains about about so many gram of dissolved oxygen such a small is also expressed 5.8 gram per 10 to the power 6 gram of so 5.8 gram of oxygen per 10 to the power 6 gram of sea water. So, that is 5.8 ppm of oxygen. Now, here it is mass by mass, correct? Here it is mass by mass, fine? Okay. So, we continue.